Morning guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. We had a really lovely weekend. Sorry to be very English and talk about the weather, but the weather has got so much better and it's just made such a difference. It really felt like spring is coming this weekend. We went for a really nice long bike ride. I didn't have to wear a coat. It was very exciting. Look, daffodils. Daffodils makes it feel like spring. How beautiful are daffodils? I'm aging. I used to not even like flowers and now they genuinely bring me like actual joy and happiness. Rich actually has a week off work this week. He gets holiday time and obviously no one's been going on holiday, but you have to like take it, otherwise you lose it. So he's just having a week off. He's really looking forward to spending some more time with Gray, hopefully getting some time to chill as well, maybe helping me a bit with work. Today is normally his day with Gray anyway. So they've gone to the fruit and veg shop, which they do every week. We always get our fruit and veg locally. And then actually, even though it's not a work day for him, he's got a meeting, he's got to jump on. So I said that I would uh, watch Gray for a bit while he does that. And then later this afternoon, I'm having a podcast meeting with Anna, we're obviously on our like four week break. This is like a new routine for the podcast where we take four weeks off to plan and then we do 10 weeks in a row, more like seasons. So we're having our planning meeting today. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna be a little bit more flexible working this week because Rich is off. So it doesn't have to be like two intense days of work. I can kind of do spread it out a little bit over the week, which would be nice. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a mango haul. I did a little order from mango, it's actually, there in that box i haven't opened it yet so i'll be doing like a live open and try on i think it's only a few bits like four things also last week i went for an updated eye test these are my current glasses they're from bailey nelson bailey nielsen i went to the shop in spitalfields like years ago and i really like these glasses but i just wanted to check that the prescription was up to date um, because i'd like to order another pair I should wear my glasses when I'm reading, looking at the computer, watching TV, on my phone for long periods of time and driving. And I find that I always forget to wear them for driving because I only have one pair. So I think I need to get a pair of glasses and just leave them in the car. Anyway, I wanna get some new glasses. I've found this company called Ace and Tate, which looks really cool. They send you, you like pick four glasses, they send them to you, you can try them all on, decide which ones you like or don't like, send them back and then they'll fit your prescription for you. I think a lot of glasses brands are now doing that kind of home service because people can't go into shops, obviously. So I think I might give that a go because I want to get some like clear rim glasses. I have no idea if they'll suit me. Glasses don't tend to suit me. I, I can really struggle to find these. I've got quite a small face. I think my eyes are a little bit wonky as well. So I think I might pick some glasses today and order those. The first thing I wanna do this morning is get organized for the week. I like to sit down at my desk. I like to write a to-do list. I like to clear my inbox and just like start fresh and have a bit of a plan. So that is what I'm gonna do. Just realized I've got a couple of parcels that I need to open first. Me and Anna are doing an event with Clarence this week. Our first like live Zoom meetup. So that'll be really fun. So these are for that Zoom. So I can show you guys on the Zoom the little gift with purchase that they're offering. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drink and head upstairs. Look at my current empties situation. It is literally overflowing. So let me know if you guys would like to see an empties video of like the products that I've totally finished up and what I think of them and I could do that in my next vlog. Rich and Grey brought me back a fresh orange juice, which is very nice and delicious. This shirt, by the way, that I'm wearing today is new from Me and M, and I really love it. It's really, really lightweight. It's going to be perfect for like the warmer months. But also means that it's not like stiff. I find sometimes shirts with collars are too too like stiff on me. You can kind of tuck it in a little bit to your jeans. So I really, really like this. Okay, it's 10:30, which means it's time for me to switch with Rich. I don't really vlog when I'm with Grey. I just find that whoever's like in charge of looking after her at the time, because someone commented last week saying like, how, why don't you let Rich take over your vlogs on the days he's looking after Grey? We made like a decision, whoever's like in charge of Grey at that time, 
gives her like the full attention. I feel like I couldn't vlog when I'm with her because I'd be thinking about the vlog and the shots and I just wanna give her like my full attention. So I'm gonna head downstairs and play with Grey whilst Rich goes on his call. And then I'll open my mango parcel with you guys. I'm really excited to try on the bits I ordered. Okay, I'm back up in my office. Just had the cutest hour with Grey. She's just at the sweetest age, like I just, love her so much she's so cute she's doing this really funny thing where she always wants someone to come and sit with her like no matter where she is on the sofa on the floor she's just always wants to say like sit and when she says sit she always says oh sit oh sit that's what she's trying to say but because she's a baby um it comes out as oh shit <laughs> so she just all the time all you hear is oh shit oh shit it's so funny i love it she just entertains us every day anyway i thought i would open up my mango order now i've got one two three four five things i'm not that hopeful quite a few of the bits may go back or maybe i'll like them all i'm not sure so we have a loungewear top and bottom set something that looked a little bit kind of smarter maybe than other things that I've got. I've got a lot of kind of baggy jumpers and baggy tracksuit bottoms, but this material looked a little bit more kind of, I don't know what the word I'm thinking of. I'm gonna try it on. It's in this really nice kind of camely shade. A dress, what was I thinking? I was obviously very excited for spring when I got this and summer and I was thinking ahead and I got excited it's a dress, it's definitely not dress season yet, but if I like it, then it'll be good for summer. This is like a zip up loungewear -y top that is from the same set as the set I got, but in a different color, in the kind of greeny sage color, which I thought was nice. And then a big knitted jumper. Very into like big colorful knits at the moment. That jumper from Hush um, that I've got, the pink and red one, has just made me kind of fall back in love with colour again and I'm excited about adding some colour into my wardrobe. Oh, can anyone else? I can't sit. When I sit like this on my knees, I can't sit back on my toes. I've got really tight ligaments in my feet. I know that's kind of random, but oh, I can't sit like that. Right, let's try on these clothes and see what they're like. Okay, here's the first item. It is a jumper. I like the slightly higher neck. It's a really, really soft knit, which I like. It's not at all itchy. Like I'm not wearing anything underneath and it's not itchy. I feel like it's very 80s. I'm sure I have some photos of my mum when I was little wearing things like this. I can't decide if I like love it or hate it. I really like the arms. I'm really very into this shape at the moment. It's the same as the Hush jumper. I might have to send a photo to my friend Debs. I often do this when I can't decide on an item. I think it's cool. I'm just not sure if it's like the most flattering. It's something about this crisscross that I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit self-conscious at the moment, but I think I like it. I'm going to link down below all the items that I'm showing in this video, by the way. Okay, I sent a photo to Debs and she thinks I should keep it. Okay, this is the set and I actually really like it. So it's the same kind of balloon arm thing that I'm really into at the moment. I think it just adds a bit of like interest to a jumper. And it's also, it's not really cropped, but because it's tighter, it kind of like goes like this, which I really like. And again, a slightly higher neck, which I think really flatters me. I like the kind of browny camely color. Um, I got the trousers in a medium, but I would say they're quite tight and I can't decide whether to go for a large or not. I just, I don't know. By the way, I like really, really look pregnant. Like, look at that. I look about six months pregnant. That's if I'm like relaxed and not breathing in. Um, for anyone who's gonna ask if I'm pregnant, I'm not. Um, I'm actually on my period, which is maybe why I'm so bloated. But also I just think once you've had a baby, your muscles, like, look at that. What the hell? Like, I know someone who's 20 weeks pregnant right now and she doesn't have a bump this big. Um, if I breathe in, which you can't do with a baby bump, if I breathe in, I don't look six months pregnant. Um, but genuinely, that is me relaxed. Crazy, hey? Uh, I really like the trousers. They are a loose fit. This fabric, let me just like pan down and show you a bit closer, is really, really nice and really soft. I don't know how well they will wash, but I really like them. Um, I do think I'll need to wear a thong with them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask Anna for her thong recommendations, but this is just great. It's definitely for a lounging at home outfit. Great for Zoom calls and anything like that. I'm very into this. I just can't decide what to do about the bottoms. I mean, they fit. They do fit, I guess. I have to wear them like quite high. And I suppose they're stretchy. And maybe they will stretch out. 
I think maybe a large would be too big. I'm going to stick with the medium. This is the hoodie. Now it looks ridiculous with this set. It just doesn't go with it too much like slouchy stuff. But I think it would look really nice with leggings. It's really long and I don't really have any hoodies that are long. I really like the kind of sage green colour. It's got drop shoulder and it's also got these like loose pockets. It's kind of hard to show you because it really, really doesn't go well with this. But I think I might keep it because I think it'll be really nice for lounging around the house. And I just, it's a bit different to anything I have. It's a zip hoodie. Again, it's got like the tighter wrists, which I like. Okay, I've tried on the dress. I actually got this in a large and I think a medium would be much better because this elastic, I think in the medium it would have sat a little bit tighter and higher, which would have been more flattering. Um, but because it's a large, it's slouching, which means it's like kind of sitting on my tummy area. I mean, this is the sort of dress that I really like and would love on someone else. And I could probably make it look really good in a photo, but for real life, I, I'm not sure like it's that flattering. It's definitely comfortable. It'll be a really, really comfortable dress, but I think the neckline doesn't suit me. I think it's, it's, not, it's not sitting in a nice place and the arms are maybe too big. I don't know, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna send this one back, um, but I think this would look really nice on someone else. <laughs> So I definitely did that thing where I said I probably won't keep any of it. And I've actually kept one, two, three, four things and I'm sending one back. Actually really happy with my little haul. Maybe I'm not so bad at online shopping after all. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look and see if I can order some glasses to try on from Ace and Tate. I literally have no idea what suits me. Like maybe I should look at this shape and try and work out from that. I like the idea of this kind of clear glasses. Gray's asleep. The Coachman's just come with some Amazon parcels. Have you eaten? Yeah. Wait, what did you have? Oval with avocado, cheese, pickle. Oh! I just realised what this is. And I can't show it on camera because it's a present for someone. Uh, what's the other thing? Oh my god, why do I feel like these are going to be massive? I ordered some new muslin cloths. Oh, they're quite nice actually. I needed some new face cloths. But I wanted some that had um, bamboo in because they're so much softer. These are from Dual Vertex. It's from Amazon. And they're... That's quite, that's, that's a good size for my face. They're a bit like the ones we use for Grey when she's eating. We don't use um, like disposable wipes for her face. We do use them for her nappy, um, but we use these when she eats. And actually that's really nice. Oh my God, I've got loads. I'm never gonna need to buy more ever again because obviously these are reusable. The ones I had before were like really, really old that came with the Lizelle cleanse and polish. And we just keep losing them, don't we? And they're really oh, yeah. thin and then they don't wash well. These. They are years old though. Yeah, years old. Me and Rich both use them. Oh my gosh. How exciting is that? Fresh, soft muslins to wash our face. And I also ordered myself a wide tooth comb. Again, part of my new hair routine. Um, very interesting, Annabelle Kingsley told me. She was like, don't use a wet brush. Don't use a tangle teaser because Yes, they brush through your hair very easily, but that's because they're just ripping through your hair and you can't feel when you're tugging too hard. She was like, if you use a wide tooth comb and start from the bottom up, it's like, you know, going like this very slowly. Oh my God, my, can I just say, my mum used to use this on me when I was a kid and I would just scream and cry. The neighbors would come knocking, it brings back memories but I'm a big girl now. She's like, if you do it slowly, you can feel when you're, when there's a knot, you can feel when you're tugging too hard and then you won't damage your hair. Whereas if you're just going, you're just like ripping through your hair. And if you're worried about hair breakage and hair loss like me, that is not a good thing. So I got these. I actually would really, really love like one of those really beautiful combs, taut wear where I have my hair clips from. They sell some, but I just wanted to try these first to make sure that I can like get on well with them. And I knew I'd need more than one anyway. So I'm gonna start with these little like plasticky ones and then I might get a proper one. Can I use it on oh, my hair? Oh, it's a doorbell. You can use it on your hair. You don't brush your hair. It's getting long enough, I don't know. Yeah, his hair is getting so long, oh my God. I've had flowers sent to me. No, you haven't. Yep, look. 
Lily and Rich. Who sent flowers? Who sent us flowers? What have we done? What's it related to? It has neither of our birthdays. We haven't done anything. What's happened recently? I have no idea. What's happened recently? What's happened recently? I can't remember. As if we're looking after Juno. Well, yeah, from your parents. Lily and Rich, thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Love, Mum and Dad. Oh my God. That is so our character. That is so... <laughs> done anything like that. I don't think they sent each other flowers. They, yeah, they genuinely didn't even send each other flowers. That is so thoughtful. That is so funny. My parents sent us flowers. I can't believe I even caught it on camera. They do not do this. Thanks, Mum and Dad. Wow, and they're really beautiful. Mm. Exciting. Got flowers. First time I've had flowers. First time Richard's had flowers. I'm gonna put them in a vase. Look how gorgeous those flowers look. That This vase is old. It's from Arquette and I just love I love putting flowers in a jug. This is my thing at the moment. Wow, they are beautiful. This is also beautiful. Thank you, Rich. Wow, just so you know, he does not make me rich. He does not make me rich. <laughs> you don't make me rich either. He does not make me lunch every day. This is a treat because um, I was opening the parcels. Thank you. I mentioned Gray's bedroom in my last vlog, so I thought I would just keep updating you guys as we do bits and bobs because I can't imagine it's going to be like a big before and after type situation. So just we're kind of doing it gradually and slowly. Um, so let me show you a couple of the things we've changed since the last vlog. We put up some curtains. These are from H&M Home. I'm so happy with them because I really love the little trim around the edge. They're kind of like a beige linen and then they've got this brown trim. And because they're linen they look kind of like, you know, I've steamed them a little bit but they don't have to be perfect. So that adds a nice little bit of warmth to the room. It's actually amazing what curtains can do to a room. So that is what they look like. We just got the kind of brass rail from Screwfix. I've got a new bed sheet coming for her. The bed sheets we have are just all gray. We got them from John Lewis. And actually there's some really nice bed sheets around. So I've ordered one from the Organic Sheep Company, I think, which is where we got her mattress from. And I'm gonna see what it's like before I order more. This lamp is from Zara Home. I really like it because it's just LED. So you literally just click a button and the button to turn it on, which means that we, when we're like reading books, we can move it around. I may actually still ha get a proper lamp here and then just put this um, over on this corner. This is where we have our new canopy. Now I know I said I was gonna try and make one, but I just, you know, being realistic with my skills and time, I just bought one. Um, I did have a discount code for Scandi Born, so I got a little bit of a discount on this and I love the color. It's like a kind of burnt orange. This, these spots are not gonna be here. We're gonna take those down. And like I mentioned, we might paint the room in something like this from Lick. Um, it actually looks a lot brighter on camera. It's kind of a bit more of a warmer color, but she absolutely loves this little corner. How nice is it? I just think it's so cozy. Like I said, when this becomes a nursery again for any future babies, we could just have a little chair there to feed. Um, and yeah, we've just put her bean bag there for now and her cuddly toys and she loves sitting here in the evening, having her milk, reading stories. It's so, so lovely. We might put some like twinkle lights up in there because in the evening it does get quite dark in this corner. I need to start peeling these off the wall. I've done a few, some of them come off fine and then some of them take the paint off. They're not supposed to, but they do. So I'm just gonna have to be really gentle. And then when we paint, we'll just like sand it down a bit. Okay, now I've got a call with Anna. Like I said, we're gonna plan the podcast stuff and I'm really excited to chat to her because it's been a few days. So we'll probably be at this for a couple of hours at least. Morning, everyone. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. So, morning, it's Tuesday. Because Rich has the week off work, we're gonna make the most of it and have um, a nice morning out together, us three. And the weekdays are so much quieter, like in the local parks and stuff, so that'll be really nice. We're gonna go for a walk, it's sunny, it's not too cold. Grey's scootering around the house, so I think she's desperate to go out. She's actually looking very cute very today. Nice I can, wonder if I can try and show you her outfit. She's wearing like dungarees and a little hairband. Um, oh, I'm gonna have a banana, a secret banana. Gray's got leftover mac and cheese uh, for lunch. And do I have anything else to say before I end this vlog, Rich? Do you have a thought of the day? Yeah, I do actually. Camels. You know they store their water in their hump? How do they access it? 
Did you hear that? I don't think they drink it. I think it's just that just means it's stored in their body, which hydrates them. What, well, it slowly seeps into their body? Yeah, I don't think it, the, the water in their humps is for drinking. Yeah. But they could have like a straw. Soon these lockdown videos will be over. Thank you for being patient with me. Every now and again, I get a comment that's like, these vlogs are so boring, but guys, we're in a lockdown. There is nothing to do. I can't wait till I can start taking you guys out and about in London again, doing more interesting stuff than me hanging out at home. So thanks for your patience. I'm glad I've actually managed to still get a video up every week. Look at your cute dungarees. Whee! pretty good at scootering for someone that's like under two see you guys in my next video bye